After three weeks of training Chester, we're now preparing him for his first show, so he gets his bath. This is the first bath I've given him, and um, notice I'm standing him on a slip-free rug in the tub so that he doesn't get frightened by slipping around. And I've got the water sort of at a nice temper ter temperature, and rubbing the soap in occasionally he tries to get out but not too bad at all and I'm using a special baby's brush I find the bristles are nice and soft and it allows me to get right through to his skin and I can do around his face as well without hurting him when I do um, around his face You'll notice that I actually hold his eye closed with my other hand to make sure that the bristles don't go into his eye. It's a nice shampoo and they don't seem to worry about the taste of it or anything. Be careful not to get the water in the ears. But of course you've got to have plenty of water to rinse all the soap out. And now this is the um, conditioner, which is thicker and it's a bit harder to get out. So I put three or four lots on him, especially around the ears and, and neck. As he gets older, that's where some of his longest coat will be, as well as around his tail and back legs. You just sort of massage that in gently and then really rinse that off well too. And that conditioner's got um, coconut oil in it, which is really good for their coat. And I use a soft cloth to wipe his eyes with. Just make sure that there's no soap residue or anything on his eyes. Notice I'm squeezing his feet to get the surplus water off. It's amazing how much water those little feet hold and the ears. Then into a towel and a good rubber dub dub. He doesn't mind it at all, and and you know you rub quite firmly because you've got to get all the um, water out of his coat, even though he hasn't got much of a coat. It's amazing how mu how thick the ears are, how much um, harder they are to dry. I make sure I do inside his ears well with the drying. And as I say, he's been really good for his first bath. He's not struggling around too much at all. I've decided not to use the dryer on him. I don't want to sort of frighten him by the sound of the dryer just yet. And it is a hot summer's day, so it won't be hard to get him to dry off if I <coughs> rub hard enough and get the um, excess moisture off in the towel. I then just use a little comb just to comb the hair flat again on him. He's still got his baby um, fur which fluffs up when he's dry and that will go as the coat gets longer or at least it'll you know be more as an undercoat. Now into his little crate the other dogs watching on they find uh, he has some interesting little smells about him now so they're both checking him out while I go and get him a little chew that he can uh, have while he's in the cage to keep him happy and you can tell he knows when I'm coming back with his chew you just watch aha here comes mum with the chew and give him a chew and he happily stays in his crate now at the show we have um, a friend, his breeder actually, handling him for me. And she's just doing a practice run here at the moment in the ring where he will be shown, just to get a feel for how he moves. He's got a different um, lead on to a show lead, which I haven't had on him before. So she's just making sure that uh, he feels good with her. Now they're in the ring with the judge watching and he's moving along quite nicely. He breaks gait every now and then, but that's natural for a puppy. He gets picked up and put on the table. The judge has to look at the confirmation. 
and he has to stand steady until she comes up to him and then he goes berserk to say hello. The handler just keeps her hands firmly on him so that he knows not to wriggle too much and when the judge is ready to move from the front to the back of the dog the handler moves to the front so that the judge can examine his hind quarters. She's now going to ask him to move around the ring again. For a little fellow, he's just three months, which is the age you're allowed to show them in Australia. He's a great little mover. He goes really fast. It breaks gait a little bit there, but Lynn just keeps a steady pace with him and he goes back into his gate quite easily. Back towards the judge, that was sort of a triangle movement and he stands nicely and he won the little um, dog section, now he's going against the little bitch to see which one's going to be the best baby. Now even though they're supposed to be moving together, chest has gone way out in front because you can see the little girl isn't moving very well at all and even though the judge is grinning at her, her cuteness, there's no question in the judge's mind that chest is the winner. Both receive a handshake. Now here we are on day two under another judge, a, a Japanese gentleman. And again he's moving around really nicely, tail wagging, obviously enjoying the experience. And the judge has him moving again after he's examined him on the table. And again he won the best dog and it's against the same little bitch who is moving a little bit better today but still not being able to keep up with him because he's such a fast little mover. And day two and he won again. He actually goes under three judges. This is a second Japanese gentleman examining him on the table and he's standing quite nicely. And this judge wants to see him move around as well. I guess one of the uh, reasons I think he was a winner was partly because of his movement. And if you can train your puppies to move nicely like this, they'll have a much better chance. Oops, he sat. You're not supposed to sit in the show ring, Chester. And the judge asked him to move in a circle this time. Whoops, he decides to have a scratch, but his handler keeps him moving and the judge congratulates her on having such a nice little dog. Now I thought you might like to just see the best in the group. This is the toy group and this is all the main winners, all the best of each breed that shows in the group that are older than baby puppies. And the judge has to pick one winner. Keep your eye on that little Maltese, the white one there. Some lovely dogs there. This is a um, a little bish on Frise. Actually they're related to the Maltese and the judge is asking this one to move again. But the Maltese is the winner and actually the Bichon Frise was the runner-up. 